The movie begins with Gusto's restaurant in Paris. The youngest chef to have five stars rating, booked six months in advance, and Gusto's cookbook Anyone Can Cook is a bestseller, but Anton Ego believes the opposite. Remy the rat has a special sense of taste and smell. Remy is smelling the cake, and his brother Emile is impressed, but his father is not. Remy's father is attending to eat an apple, when Remy stops him, suspects a smell, then Remy attracts the smell, he finds out it's rat poison. Remy's father becomes very impressed by Remy's talent so he decides to take advantage of Remy, so Remy becomes a poison checker, which made Remy's father happy, but not Remy. Remy believes they are thieves, and he refuses to eat from garbage, Remy wishes to eat fine food, like humans. Remy's father warns Remy to interact with humans or go to their homes, but Remy ignores them anyway. And Remy goes to the old woman's house, he likes what humans do with food. He listens and loves what Chef Gusto says about cooking and food. Remy is passionate about food tastes. When he eats, he enjoys food more than anyone else. He eats good and clean food from the old lady's house, and he can't tell anyone about it. When he leaves the old woman's house, he smells and finds a mushroom. He asks his brother to help him hide the mushroom. He then finds cheese with his brother and goes crazy about it, he picks up a rosemary and a drop of sweet grass. He then climbs the old lady's house so he can cook his mushroom and cheese using the chimney. But a thunder strikes them, throwing them to the ground, luckily the mushroom and cheese are well cooked. It only needs one more ingredient and it's in the old woman's kitchen, they break into the woman's kitchen, she is sleeping, and the TV is on, while Remy is looking for his ingredient. After Remy finds the ingredient, he looks to the TV to find that it's Gusto, the news says Gusto lost a star by France's top food critic, Anton Ego, causing the passing of Gusto with a broken heart. Because of Chef's passing, they lost another star. Before Remy could think the TV was turned off, and the old lady noticed their existence, she quickly pulls out her shoot gun and starts shooting at them. Emile runs towards the roof, which is where the colony is. The old woman starts shouting at Emile. And the discovery of the whole colony, with hundreds of rats, the woman freaks out and runs. The rats are evacuating the house, but Remy instead heads to the kitchen shelf to take Gusto's cookbook. The woman attacks him with gas, and he jumps outside. The rats are using boats to escape, Remy runs after them and uses the book as a boat. When he gets close to his family, the woman starts shooting at them. Remy's family goes with the current into the tunnel, Remy's puddles hard to enter the tunnel and follow his family, but his family went too far. Remy keeps puddling until he finds two ways, he takes the left side to find himself falling down an edge, and he starts sinking, he swims and swims till he clings to the book and finally reaches up land. Remy is browsing in the cookbook, he is hungry and alone, lost his family and friends, and all of a sudden, Gusto in the book's picture starts talking to him, tells him to leave the canal, and go look for food, encourages him to take a step out. Remy climbs and passes the pipes and vents. He looks for food using his powerful smell sense, he reaches a fancy restaurant, and holds a piece of bread, he is about to eat it before Gusto's ghost stops him again and blames him for stealing, cooks cook, do not steal, he convinces Remy, so Remy takes his way back, climbs the pipes to the roof, Remy finds out he was under Paris all that time. Remy turns back, he finds Gusto's restaurant with three stars. Remy is happy for finding the restaurant and makes his way to the restaurant roof to watch the kitchen. Meanwhile, in the kitchen of Gusto's restaurant, Chef Skinner, the new head of chefs, meets Alfredo Linguini. Alfredo is Renata's son who was Chef Gusto's crush. Alfredo asks for work, after his mother's death, and hands a letter from his mother to Skinner. Skinner treats him arrogantly and hires him as a garbage boy. Remy is watching the kitchen through a glass window. Remy shows his knowledge to Gusto's ghost, he sees Alfredo cleaning, and Alfredo accidentally hits the soup's cook causing its fall, he tries to fix his mistake by adding water and some random ingredients. Remy watches and gets tensed. Unawares, Remy falls through the window into the kitchen, he falls in the sink, hides, and does everything not to get caught in the kitchen, a rat in a fancy restaurant is a huge problem. He tries to leave the kitchen in all ways, he falls in a pot, then by mistake enters the oven, and escapes but finally when he tries to escape through the open window, a worker in the kitchen closes it, but again Alfredo comes to check on the soup, once he tastes it, he directly opens the window to vomit. Remy finds his way out again, so he runs to escape through the window, he passes by the soup, which smells very bad. He turns back and throws some basil, and some flavors here and there. He is about to finally leave before he stops for a second, and again, Gusto's figment shows again and encourages him to fix the soup. Remy goes back, washes his hands, and starts working, adding cream, water, onion, garlic, 
and a lot of different ingredients, he cooks with passion and love, and before he adds his last ingredient and leaves, Alfredo Fine sees him, and in the same time the head of chefs, Skinner comes, Alfredo locks Remy under a plate. When Skinner finds Alfredo close to the cooker with a food scoop in his hand, he supposes Alfredo is cooking, he gets angry and reviles Alfredo, meanwhile, the waiter comes and scoops out the soup and leaves to serve it to a customer who is in truth a food critic. Skinner tries to stop the waiter, but he fails. Skinner fires Alfredo before the waiter calls Skinner for the lady customer, who praises the taste of the soup. Though Skinner is still angry, he assigns Chef Colette responsible for Alfredo. He orders Alfredo to do the soup again, and he is going to be watching. Remy tries to escape but Skinner notices him. Alfredo catches him and locks Remy up in a jar. Skinner orders Alfredo to eliminate him outside the restaurant. Alfredo drives his bike to the river. He is about to drop the jar with Remy in it into the river but he is hesitating, then he starts shouting and complaining to Remy. He notices that Remy is reacting to his talk. He drops Remy in the river, jumps after him, and saves him. Alfredo asks Remy to help him make the soup again, and Remy agrees. Alfredo opens the jar for Remy. Remy runs away, but he stops to look back at Alfredo still standing in his place. Remy feels guilty, and he goes back to Alfredo. Alfredo takes Remy to his home, Alfredo has a small humble apartment, but Remy loves the apartment because it faces the Eiffel Tower, Remy spends his night watching the Eiffel Tower before he falls asleep. Alfredo wakes up, and finds the fridge is open. There are no eggs, he thinks Remy stole the eggs and ran, but he finds Remy cooking breakfast for him. Alfredo is late for work, he eats quickly, and before Remy can eat, Alfredo grabs him and rushes to work. Alfredo hides Remy in his clothes, they enter the kitchen when Skinner orders Alfredo to make the soup again. Alfredo tries to cook while Remy is guiding him. Remy keeps biting Alfredo to stop him from using the wrong ingredients. Alfredo enters the refrigerator, he reproves Remy for his bites. Remy is staring at the food, Alfredo notices and gives him cheese, Remy starts eating insatiably. Skinner passes by the refrigerator when he hears Alfredo talking to Remy, he instantly enters the refrigerator. Alfredo quickly turns off the lights and hides Remy in his hat, and turns on the lights. Skinner is confused, and he shouts at Alfredo to leave the refrigerator. Alfredo leaves the refrigerator, and suddenly a worker shows off with a tray with lots of plates. Remy in Alfredo's hat, pulls Alfredo's hair, Alfredo bends his back flexibly, and walks under the tray. Alfredo wondering how Remy did that, luckily they find a way to cook, and Remy can control Alfredo with his hair. In the night, Alfredo is training to cook with Remy in control. Remy covers Alfredo's eyes, and the cook starts. Remy throws the food out of the window, pours all the pasta, and spills the wine to the ground. But eventually, he gets used to it. He finally chops with the knife, crack eggs, and cooks well. The next day, in the restaurant, Alfredo makes the soup just like last time, Skinner again orders Colette to teach Alfredo the kitchen rules. Alfredo tries getting close to Colette, but she acts strictly. In Skinner's office, Skinner is talking with an advertisement specialist. Skinner is planning to change the restaurant, making a cheap kind of food, the opposite of the restaurant's specialty as a fancy restaurant serving fancy French food. The advertisement specialist leaves and Skinner sets in his office and browses the envelopes, he notices the letter from Alfredo's mother, he opens and reads it, gets nervous, and calls his lawyer. Alfredo is Gusto's son, in Gusto's will it is written that the restaurant will pass to the sous chef if no heir appears within two years. The sous chef is Skinner, he doesn't want Alfredo to take the restaurant from him. The lawyer suggests Skinner keep Alfredo under his watch while the lawyer is going to make a DNA test using hair from Gusto's hat. Meanwhile, Colette is teaching Alfredo, she teaches him to work faster, keeps his cooking station clear, tells him about the other chefs in the kitchen, and eventually how to get fresh vegetables which are through bribing a grower. Alfredo learns thoroughly and perfects everything. He is now close to Colette as they spent much time together. The waiter is taking orders, the customers already tried the soup Alfredo cooked, and they ask for a special meal. The waiter heads to the kitchen, they freak out, and Skinner tells them to make one of Gusto's recipes but the waiter tells him that the customers asked for Alfredo's meals. Skinner gets angry and tells Alfredo to do the recipe with the help of Colette, a recipe that Gusto himself didn't like and ignored. He does that to make Alfredo miss and ruin his cooking career. Colette and Alfredo start working on the recipe, Remy as usual is hiding under Alfredo's hat, Remy smells the food, and he doesn't like it. He wanders around the kitchen picking ingredients to modify the recipe. Colette tries to stop him as she wants to do the original recipe. Remy is working on his recipe, while Alfredo is explaining it to Colette. The order is almost ready, when Colette goes to put in the original sauce, Remy controlling Alfredo, stops Colette, challenges her and puts in his own modified sauce. 
The waiter takes the order. And in minutes the orders for the special order pour in, the customers love the meal, and for the whole night, Alfredo and Remy are cooking their special order for the whole restaurant. After their long night, the chefs celebrate Alfredo's success, everyone is happy but Skinner. Skinner notices Remy under Alfredo's hat. Alfredo goes out of the kitchen and places Remy down. Alfredo enters the kitchen again, and Skinner is hiding. Once Alfredo passes, Skinner snatches Alfredo's hat, but he finds nothing and gets embarrassed. He acts as if it's a joke, and invites Alfredo to his office. He offers Alfredo wine and insists on him drinking. Alfredo doesn't drink, but Skinner convinces him to drink. Meanwhile, Remy is enjoying his food under the sky of Paris. But he hears sounds coming from the garbage, and sees a shadow of a big monster, he picks up the knife and moves towards it. It's Emile, Remy's brother, and he happily hugs him. He is glad that he is alive. Remy finds his brother eating from the garbage, he sneaks to the kitchen refrigerator, and steal food for his brother. Gusto's figment shows to Remy, blames him for stealing as Alfredo trusted him, but Remy ignores it. In Skinner's office, Alfredo is drunk now. Skinner is questioning him and tries to know more about his cooking career, but he gets nothing. He pours more wine into Alfredo's glass. He wants to know about Remy. Back to Remy, he brought food for Emile, Emile is eating from garbage again. Remy catches him and blames him, Emile stops and Remy offers him the clean food he brought from the kitchen. Remy teaches Emile about food, he orders him to eat slowly and taste the food. Emile starts feeling the taste and understanding what Remy means, but he loses the taste again. Emile wants to take Remy to the colony, to meet their father, but Remy hesitates as he has to stay. But he goes for a visit. In the kitchen, Skinner is questioning Alfredo, who is answering nothing. Alfredo asks for more wine, but the wine is already finished. Remy is in the colony, he is with his family and friends, they are all happy. Remy's father is happy, they faced some problems as they couldn't find another poison checker which was Remy's job, but Remy is not planning to stay with them. An argument starts between Remy and his father, Remy wants to leave and his father doesn't want that. Remy does not want to stay in the colony, he wants to achieve something. His father accuses him of acting like a human. Remy tells his father that he had the opportunity to observe humans and they are not bad. Remy's father asks Remy to follow him, he wants to show him something. Again in the kitchen, Skinner is leaving, and he assigns Remy to clean the kitchen. Remy is alone in the kitchen, and the kitchen is a real mess. Remy's father takes Remy to a poison shop, dead rats hanging from their necks. And rats poison displayed. Remy finds the sight outrageous. Humans cannot be trusted, that's Remy's father's opinion, but Remy disagrees and decides to continue on his way. In the morning, Remy heads to the restaurant, and greets a man on a bike, causing the man to hit on a car of surprise. Remy enters the kitchen and looks for Alfredo. He is sleeping in the kitchen. Remy tries hard to wake him up, but Alfredo is not waking up. Remy gets under Alfredo's hat and stands him up by pulling his hair, but Alfredo is still sleeping. Meanwhile, Remy hears someone coming. He picks up sunglasses, so no one notices Alfredo's closed eyes. Colette enters the kitchen. She wants to know what Alfredo and Skinner talked about. But Alfredo is still sleeping, and Remy gives her the wrong reaction. Colette opens up to Alfredo, and while she is talking Alfredo snores. Colette slaps him and he wakes up. Colette tells him that she is wrong that she helped him, and she did that because she liked him. When she leaves the restaurant, Alfredo picks up his hat and runs after her, he stops her. Alfredo is trying to explain to her, but he can't, he finally decides to show her Remy who is hiding under his hat. Colette is worried, and she pulls pepper spray off her bag. Alfredo is about to take his hat off but Remy pulls his hair which causes Alfredo to fall on Colette and kiss her. Colette drops the pepper spray and kisses him back. Anton Ego, the popular food critic, was the critic who caused the loss of a star for Gusto's restaurant, leading to Gusto's passing. He is sitting in his huge office, with his portrait hanging over the desk. Anton is writing and drinking alcohol. Anton's assistant enters the office, and states to Anton that Gusto's restaurant is gaining popularity again. That is what Anton was not expecting, he is shocked. In Skinner's office, he is meeting the lawyer. The lawyer confirms to Skinner that the DNA test is positive, Alfredo is Gusto's son, which means Alfredo has the right to inherit the restaurant. Skinner loses his mind. Skinner wants to fire Alfredo, but he cannot because he is gaining popularity. The lawyer suggests he wait till the deadline expires, which is in three days. The restaurant is officially going to be his, then he can fire Alfredo whenever he wants. Skinner is convinced, and the lawyer tells Skinner that oddly the first hair sample he gave was a rodent hair, and Skinner gets more suspicious about Alfredo. At the same time, Alfredo and Colette are having a good time in the kitchen together, which Remy doesn't like. 
In the night Colette takes Alfredo on her motorcycle, and because of the speed and wind, Remy falls behind. Cars are about to hit Remy, but he avoids them. He finds himself between human crowds, they are trying to eliminate him, so he jumps into sewers. He is alone now, he figures out how fragile everything was. In the morning he goes back to the restaurant, Emile and some other friends from the colony are waiting for Remy. They want food from the restaurant, and Remy has nothing to do but bring them food, so he keeps them silent. Remy sneaks to the kitchen, he finds the fridge closed, he goes to Skinner's office, to find the key, Gusto blames him for stealing food, Alfredo trusts him, but Remy ignores him again. He finds the key and finds Gusto's well as well, he takes a look, starts reading it, and Remy figures out the truth about Alfredo. Skinner enters the office, and he sees Remy, Remy steals the well and the DNA results, and escapes. Skinner runs after him and takes one of Chef's motors, he locates Remy and drives after him. He is really close to catching Remy, but Remy avoids him. Accidentally Skinner drives down the stairs and falls. Remy is running, and he loses one of the papers, it flies with the winds. Remy tries hard to grab it, but at the same time Skinner drives the motor to catch it, Remy jumps and grabs it before Skinner could. Remy jumps onto a boat, Skinner does as well. Skinner keeps chasing him. The papers rise Remy up, leading him to the boat, Skinner jumps but cannot make it and falls into the water. Remy makes his way and runs. Skinner goes back to the restaurant, he enters the office, to find Alfredo and Colette there, they figured out the truth and kick Skinner out. Alfredo is now the owner of the restaurant, he gets rid of Skinner's plans on changing the restaurant. Alfredo moves to another big house and gives Remy a better place in front of the Eiffel Tower as he loves. Alfredo is getting more famous, Skinner is desperate, and Remy steals food from the kitchen for his brother and friends. Alfredo is in a press conference talking about his cook, he ignores the fact that Remy is helping him, Remy gets angry and harasses Alfredo. He pulls his hair and starts making noise. Alfredo takes off his hat and put it on the table to stop Remy, suddenly the doors of the restaurant open, and Anton Ego enters the restaurant. He scares Alfredo and even Remy, he challenges Alfredo, as he will come the next night to taste the food. Meanwhile, Skinner calls the health inspector and reports a rat infestation in Gusto's restaurant, the inspector can drop by the restaurant in three months, but he will go earlier if anyone cancels. In Alfredo's office, he is blaming Remy for his acts and harassment. Remy disregards Alfredo's talk, Alfredo gets angry, gives him a break, and drops him out of the kitchen. Up the roof, Skinner is hiding, he understands Alfredo is not the one who cooks. Remy meets Emile and the other rats, he tells Emile to call his father and bring the whole colony. In the night, in Alfredo's house, he doesn't find Remy. Remy is with his father and the whole colony, after the restaurant closed, they sneak into the restaurant, open the refrigerator and they begin stealing from the refrigerator. Suddenly, Alfredo enters the kitchen, all the rats hide, Alfredo is looking for Remy, and Alfredo is feeling guilty because of the way he talked to Remy. Remy shows up, Alfredo apologizes to Remy and Remy feels guilty too. Emile falls down causing noise, making Alfredo open the refrigerator and find all the rats. He kicks them out and Remy as well. Remy leaves with a broken heart. Alfredo is taking Anton Ego's order, and Anton orders Alfredo's heart. Alfredo wakes up, he is sleeping in the office. Colette calls him to encourage the crew, so he heads out and gives a bad boring speech. Remy is watching through the window, he can't leave Alfredo alone. Emile shows up to support his brother. But as they are talking, Emile enters a rat trap to pick a piece of cheese. Remy jumps and pushes his brother out of the trap, but Remy gets trapped. The box is left up, it's Skinner who put the trap. Skinner puts Remy in the car's trunk, then heads to the restaurant to watch Alfredo lose. As Anton Ego arrives at the restaurant, Colette breaks up Alfredo's boring speech, and they start cooking. The waiter takes Anton's order, and Anton orders whatever the chef dares to serve. Skinner, disguised as sitting by Anton's table, orders the same as Anton. During that time, Remy is still trapped in the car's truck. He is talking with Gusto's figment, and Remy loses his temper. But he finally understands that he does have more capabilities than he thinks, and he accepts himself as a rat. Emil and his father throw a statue on the car trunk, they crash it, and break Remy out of the cage. Remy runs as fast as can to the restaurant to help Alfredo. In the kitchen, they are all nervous. Alfredo can't help as Remy is not there. Alfredo breaks down and goes to his office. Out there, Remy is rushing to the restaurant to help them, his father and brother are trying to stop him. Remy opens the kitchen door, the kitchen crew attacks him instantly. But Alfredo steps in and tells them their secret. A moment of silence, then a chef steps in and leaves the kitchen, it's seconds before everyone leaves the kitchen. Colette breaks into tears before she leaves the kitchen as well. Leaving Alfredo and Remy alone. 
Alfredo loses hope and gets into his office. Remy stands in the kitchen, helpless. Out of nowhere, Remy's father comes out, he shows support to his son and brings the whole colony to help him with cooking. The health inspector enters the kitchen and sees all the rats. He runs, but the rats follow him. The other rats, take orders from Remy. All the rats cook, and help in the kitchen, Alfredo leaves his office to see them all working. Alfredo wears his shoe wheels and serves the customers. At the same time, Colette comes back to the kitchen. Remy decides to cook ratatouille for Anton. As they start, Remy starts adding different ingredients, Colette declines it, but she trusts Remy and does what he says. The rats bring the health inspector tied and throw him in the refrigerator. Once the ratatouille is cooked, they slice a piece, decorate it, and Alfredo serves it to Anton. Anton picks up his pen and takes a bite. His eyes open wide, and the pen falls off his hand. The taste of ratatouille brings him memories of when his mother used to cook him ratatouille. He eats it voraciously. Skinner tastes the meal, and he is shocked by the great taste. He loses his temper, and goes into the kitchen. He finds the rats cooking, and the rats tie him like the health inspector. Anton thanks Alfredo, Alfredo explains that he is not the cook, he is required to wait until the restaurant closes if he wants to see the chef. Anton waits. Colette and Alfredo show him Remy and explain everything to him. He doesn't say a word after Alfredo finishes explaining, Anton stands up, thanks them, then leaves. Colette kisses Alfredo and goes home, Alfredo goes home too and Remy goes to watch the stars. They can't sleep waiting for Anton's review. The next morning the review is posted, Anton loved the food, and praised the restaurant and the cook. Gusto's restaurant gets its five stars back. But the restaurant closes because of rat infestation, and Anton loses his job as a food critic. But Anton doesn't care, he is happy. He opened a restaurant with the help of Alfredo, Colette, and Remy. Remy cooks him the food he loves. In addition to that, the restaurant is well known and popular. They named the restaurant Ratatouille.